Okay, welcome to day six of a model a day in May. And today I'm going to continue on with this scene. So let's change this to an image editor. And we'll open up this reference image. I'm just going to quickly look at this little object here. So you can find a bunch of these online. There's a bunch of different designs. I typed in Japanese armrest because I don't know the traditional name. I'm sure if you knew the traditional name, you'd get a lot more results, but you can see they're quite a simple shape. They do have a slight curve, as you can see on some of them, and some of them it's a little bit less slight. It's essentially one wooden slat, this cushion on top, and two very simple legs, and you can see it's just this basic shape. It's almost like a kind of candlestick shape, and that's essentially what I'm going to create. Um, it shouldn't take very long at all. Essentially, just going to judge the size of this by the size of this. It should be about the same length, uh, maybe a, a little bit taller. And that's essentially what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to put my 3D cursor in the middle of the scene. I'm going to create a box. I'm going to use this box as a kind of reference for the size of the object I'm creating. So this is going to be the basic size of the object I'm creating. Uh, so now that I have that, I can get rid of everything else. So I'm just going to isolate. We'll go to object mode. I think for simplicity, we'll jump into solid mode. We don't necessarily need all that lighting. Maybe we'll do matte cap today. Uh, just for fun. Put shadows and valleys and everything set up. And backgrounds, yeah. It's fine. We don't need anything too fancy in there. Okay, so let's zoom in to this a little bit. So I think the first thing I want to do is kind of create the profile here. So I'm going to go into this side view here. Let's uh, go to edit mode. Actually, let's uh, just quickly create the top of this. So I'm going to duplicate this at P and separate by selection. Do we have screencast keys again? No, we don't. Go to object mode, grab that face that I selected, go to edit mode, select that face. I'm going to move it down just a little bit, then extrude it up to the size that I want. And uh, now what I think I want to do is add in a bunch of edge loops across the middle. I'm going to grab these edge loops here. And I'm going to move these. I'm in the uh, Proportional editing, that's going to let me curve this. So I do want to keep this quite subtle. So I think maybe something like that should be good. And now we have to go in and add some bevels to this. I'm going to use these edges and these edges. I've got a funny feeling these edges might come into play. In fact, what I think I'll do is I'll just dissolve these ones just now. We can always adjust them later on. It might actually turn out that we should have beveled this before we curved it, but we'll never know until we try. So I'm going to add in a bunch of segments there because I want it quite smooth. Let's try something like that. Yeah, I'm not super happy with that shape, so let us... Let's get rid of those edges for the moment. Let's get rid of this edge and this edge. So just undo in there. Let's bevel these. Get that nice circular shape on the ends. I'm going to go to vert mode. Let's isolate this again. So I'm just hitting forward slash a couple of times to isolate that. We're going to merge by distance because we want these verts to pop. We should end up losing four. There we go. Okay, I'm also going to grab this and this and join them. Do the same on the bottom. Okay, that's back to where it was. Uh, let's grab the center part here. We'll actually just grab the faces. Since we're in face mode already. 
And let's move these again. We're in proportional editing mode, so we just want to move these quite subtly. I do want to affect basically the whole model or most of the model. Don't want to fall off to really stop. If that makes sense. I think we need a different fall off. Let's use smooth. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is much better. That is much more like what I'm looking for. So that's that done. Um, while we have this selected, let's duplicate off this object. So I'm going to just do shift D at P, separate by selection, go to object mode, grab that object, go to edit mode. I'm going to select all here. What I want to do is scale this down a little bit, but I want it to scale down proportionally from all the sides. So I'm actually, instead of scaling, I'm going to inset, invert the selection and delete. I'm going to delete all those faces and that way we just get a smaller version of this. Now we can select these faces again. I'm going to extrude this up. We want this pretty thick. Maybe about that. That's good. And then we want to bevel these edges. We don't want to bevel those inside ones. So let's just go to edge mode. Select this all the way around. Bevel this and get it nice and smooth. Let's get something like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, what I do want to do is also grab this edge all around the bottom. I'm going to bevel this as well, much less this time. Uh, less segments as well. Just want an indication of where that is. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe we made a mistake of actually of actually inserting that quite so much. So I'm going to get that in one axis and then scale it in Y. Just bring that back. Uh, this edge as well, what I'm going to do is, with proportional editing on, I'm going to move this down. Decrease this a little bit. And just kind of even this up. Even up those edges all the way around. And then even grab it and just scale it out a little bit. Just to kind of get a little bulge on this, I'm going to do the same with this one. Just to improve the shape a little bit. And I think I'm actually pretty happy with that. So let's go to object mode, smooth shading, grab this one. Now, what do we want to do? Do we want to bevel this or do we want to subdivision surface it? I think I'm going to subdivision surface it. Obviously, we need to go to edit mode and we need to add in some edges here. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the little bevel profile thing that I did last time, which is you just go on your bevel with uh, three segments and you change the profile to one and that gives you a nice smooth subdivision surface. We'll shade that smooth and we have a nice little object there. Okay, let's do these feet. So the feet shouldn't be too tricky. We'll go into one of these end modes here. Uh, we're in object mode, so that's good. We'll go to cube. Uh, I'm just going to scale this down. I will reset the transforms later on. Uh, let's scale this up in Z and kind of bring this into position more or less. Okay, so that's about right. I'll go to edit mode. The face on the bottom I'm going to select and I'm going to move this up a little bit. Let's see, we want to get the face, not the edge. We're going to have these little uh, Kind of feet, I guess, on the top. I'm not exactly sure what you'll call them. Uh, we will be subdivision surfacing this to get uh, the smooth line. So we're going to add that on before we start moving anything. Because I always find that it's a lot easier to figure out what you're doing when you can see the end result. So one thing I will do is I'll just get this into position for where I want that to be. And next we're going to... Let's see, are we going to, yeah, let's add our control loops in. So I'm going to add one in here, one in here, one right at the very bottom. 
and one up here. This is just going to let me see the shape of this a little bit easier. I'm going to add one in the middle. Sorry, one in the middle here. I'm going to bevel this out right to the end. If I go into the side view again, and we add the subdivision surface modifier. We'll come out of transparent mode, we should have something that's actually pretty smooth. We won't be able to tell though until we start adding in some edge loops. So I'll add in an edge loop right in the middle. I'm going to scale this down in Y. And you can see we start getting that shape. Let's add another couple of divisions to this. So we need another one here again. I'm going to move this down a little bit. And let's add another one in here. I'm going to scale this in a little bit. Grab this one, scale this in a little bit. Now I have to be careful I don't scale in the wrong axis. So I'm scaling in Y only at this point. Scale in Y. Get that general shape. Now in this one, it appears to actually come back out a little bit. Something like that. And I think maybe these are all a little bit too high. Maybe move them down just a little bit. Maybe scale this in a little bit more. And let's bow this back out at the top by scaling out just a little bit. I think that's more or less the shape. Uh, overall, the actual size of it appears to be a little bit too tall. The proportions feel as if this armrest is much too tall. I'm going to grab this whole thing and I'm just going to scale it down. We'll go to our top view. And we can see that's the end of it there and that's the end of the other part. I'm just going to kind of move this into the middle here, just where the curve starts. To the end view again. And move this up. Now I know this kind of looks like it's off center, but it's kind of supposed to be off center. We want this in the middle of the bottom part. Not actually in the center of the object. If it was like that, it would look like that. And that won't do, that's not right. I th so I think that's more or less right there. That's kind of a decent shape, I think. Again, we'll shade that smooth. Our edge loops, now, our edge loops, I think I want to adjust. So I'm going to grab these edge loops that I created along the sides. And I'm going to dissolve those. And I'm going to add them back in, just manually. And you can see I'm actually putting them a bit further away from the side. And what that does is that just allows me to have a kind of slightly smoother curve there. Uh, finally, last thing I want to do is I want to grab one of these faces at the bottom. In fact, do you know what? I think we'll even add some more smoothness to this just by scaling these in a little bit. On X, we have to make sure we have proportional editing turned off before we do that. So let's scale those in quite a bit. It does seem much smoother. Uh, not quite as much as I would have wanted though. Maybe we need to slide these. So I'm going to hit G twice to do edge slide. I kind of actually think I want to just manually slide these back. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of one of these entire edges. And just move this into the middle. And then just pop it out just a little bit on that axis. Uh, actually, we need to scale it out. Okay, and that smooths that up. Now we have to do the same on this other side. So I'm just going to grab this. I'm just going to manually move this back a little bit. Okay, nice and smooth. That's not too bad. Um, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, this bottom edge loop again, looking at this reference, that does seem like it uh, curls under a fair bit. So I'm going to grab this and move this up as well. Okay, now I just want to grab, let's grab these faces on the bottom and duplicate these off. So uh, 
Shift S. No, not Shift S. Uh, Shift D. Separate by selection. Object mode. Back to edit mode. I'm going to grab the middle line and dissolve that. Grab this face and move this out so we get a little bit of an overlap. Grab the whole thing, extrude this down a little bit. Again, just doing this by eye. Okay, so the bottom edge looks a lot tighter than the rest of it, so I'm going to bring that right down. This top edge, much less tight, so I'll take that to about there. Uh, let's see these inside edges. Again, I think these are actually pretty tight compared to the other part, so I'll take these out to about there. Let's see, I'm going to grab an edge in here. Put an edge in here. And for this top part, we will put an edge maybe Yeah, think about it there, but I'm going to grab this one and this one. And I'm going to move them up a little bit. So what that does, if we can zoom out a little bit, is we get a much more rounded profile here than we do along this edge. I think that's, uh, that's going to be a lot nicer. Mm -hmm. The one thing, I don't like the gap that we've got there, so let's go to edit mode, grab this. Yeah, it's not making a massive difference, I hope for, so let's just grab another one. Bring that in. Okay, one other thing I just noticed there we need to do, and you probably noticed as well, is this part needs to be wider. So we'll just go to edit mode, select all, scale this on X, widen that out a little bit. Object mode, and that's that done. So we have these two parts, I'm going to duplicate this, in fact, Let's undo that. Oh, we might be crashing Blender here. Let's say uh, Alt D. Ah, yeah, we did. We crashed Blender. No, we didn't. We didn't crash Blender. Awesome. Uh, Alt D. And we're going to move these. And X. Okay, that's fine. Uh, now, on these particular ones, there is another little shape just in here. So again, I'm just going to very, very quickly create that. This video has went a little bit longer than I expected for such a simple object. Uh, let's scale this down. Let's get this in where we want it to be. Uh, okay, so I'm going to kind of line this up here. Scale this in Y. Let's go to transparent mode, scale and Y some more. I'm going to put it in the middle. Scale an X and just get it right in the center here. Grab this face and just manually move this. Okay, front view, let's grab this face and put it right up to the top. And this one, uh, probably about there. Let's add a bunch of edge loops. I'm going to grab this one. Not the edge loop, just the bottom face. We are going to go with... Let's see. I think smooth should actually be okay. We'll grab that and we'll increase the selection here. Oh, actually we don't have proportional editing turned on. Uh, the proportional size, we'll increase that. Don't worry about the top. I'm actually going to adjust that in a moment. Okay. I'm going to grab all these edges along this top here. I'm going to scale these in Z. I just hit that and everything kind of jumps into place. We actually never had proportional editing off there. Uh, but incidentally, everything seemed to have turned out okay. Let's move that down a little bit. Make sure we are precisely in this view. Uh, let's see, that's okay, that's okay. The smoothness of that is actually not bad. 
Again, we want to subdivision surface this. We'll get the ends pretty tight here. And the top we will also get pretty tight. Now you can see this loop is kind of curving with this. We can actually go with even and flipped, and that gives us a straight edge, which is what we want in this one. And we'll add in another loop here. This time we'll turn off flipped. And well, let's see actually. Let's undo that. Let's do this all manually in here. So we want to go with even. And we'll adjust that factor and bring this down. And you can see that keeps it in proportion to the lines we already created. Again, we want that fairly tight, but not too tight. Maybe around about here. And then up the middle, we will create one loop. And we'll bevel it. Take it about there. Let's have a look in object mode. Let's add in another viewport. Let's shade smooth that. Okay, and that's uh, basically that model done. Let's get rid of that box we had before. 